Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. So it's the first night of summer camp and I'm trying really hard to bond with the other guys in the dorm when one of them goes, hey Sean, tell us about your first kiss. And I'm like, oh. Uh, this is my nightmare question for two reasons. One, uh, I am a huge dork. At this point in my life, at 16, uh, I've only kissed like my PSAT book for good luck. And, um, <laughs> and two, uh, I am in the closet, so anything about, uh, anything about intimacy in general makes me retreat into my body uh, like a shy turtle. Um, but luckily, I have prepared an answer for this very specific question, a uh, fake answer. So I turn to him and I go, uh, my first kiss was Sarah Brown. We met at Disney World. Uh, <laughs> sparks flew. Uh, we had our first kiss outside the France Pavilion at Epcot, uh, but unfortunately, you know, we lost touch, and the guys are like, oh, uh, very good, yes. Uh, <laughs> so we're leaving the room, and one of them goes, hey, did you really kiss Sarah Brown? And I'm like, oh, as a matter of fact, yes, I did. Um, and he goes, huh, that's so crazy, because, like, you know, she's here. And I was like, who? Who is here? Um, so it turns out that there may or may not be a Sarah Brown in Florida, but there definitely was a Sarah Brown at this camp in the girls' dorm. That in itself is not a problem, because then I was going to go to plan B. Oh, wrong Sarah Brown. Common name, common mistake. But um, what I didn't anticipate was that this news would pinball across camp and get to Sarah, and that made her nervous because Sarah, like me, had never kissed anyone. And she didn't want people investigating her kissing history and then making fun of her for never having done so. So instead of saying, no, I don't know who this guy is, she said, oh, yeah, like we did. It's, it's not a big deal. Um, <laughs> So the next day, I'm eating a turkey sandwich, and this like throng of guys comes up to me, and they're like, yo, dude, we talked to Sarah. She remembers her kiss. And I'm like, what? I... <laughs> but, 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 like, but I didn't think she'd remember. That's so crazy. And they're like, yo, this is great. Like, you're gonna have a reunion, and this summer, you're gonna hook up. And I'm like, oh, crap. Um, so I kid you not, the next six days, I basically hid in the bathroom for 45 minute intervals, uh, trying to avoid this hormonal, uh, twilight obsessed roving mob of teenagers hungry for a romance uh, to make happen in real life. Uh, but all good things must come to an end and I emerge from the bathroom one day and lo and behold, there is Sarah Brown. Uh, and she comes up to me and she goes, oh, hey Sean, uh, I'm Sarah. Uh, I think it's really funny that you told everyone we kissed. Uh, and I was like, oh, hey, Sarah, uh, I think it's really funny that you exist. <laughs> like, it's like the legend of Bloody Mary. Like, I've said your name enough times that you've manifested yourself and are, like, going to ruin my life. Um, and we make a little bit more small talk, and then she goes, you know, like, we don't, uh, we don't have to keep lying. Like, we can just, like, quickly uh, make this true. And she gives me the look. And then I'm like, oh my gourd. I, I like, I'm just processing the fact that my fake gay beard has manifested herself <laughs> and is now proposing the summer fling that everyone thinks we already had at Epcot. Um, and the second thing growing through my mind is, I, I don't want to make this real, but also I, I don't want to keep lying. And it's like, I am in this weird in-between where I don't want the social capital. I'm lying solely as a defense mechanism, but my lies have backfired, and instead of making me disappear, they've been pushing me further and further into the spotlight. So I realized in order to stop this roller coaster, I just have to be honest with this girl. And I'm like, Sarah, I can't. I. And she looks at me, and she like squints her eyes, and I could see the wheels turning, and she goes, you can't. 
And I say, yes. And she goes, because of your religion. And I go, <laughs> oh, yeah, kind of, yes, yes. Um, so actually that pretty much settled the matter. Um, the, when you bring up Hinduism in rural Pennsylvania, people are just like, okay, cool. Um, <laughs> Uh, but uh, not only was I thankful that this story died, I was really thankful that, um, uh, you know, at this time in my life, this secret was such a burden. And I was really thankful uh, for that moment so I could see that in an environment as difficult as high school, there were other people um, sort of putting on a performance. And, uh, and it made me feel a little bit less alone. So thank you.